playing Chapel. Are you a happy man? Yeah, obviously every time you win it's a it's a nice feeling. Um, but more than the result, I thought the performance was was excellent. Uh, we looked like a really strong team out there this game, and um, and dominated well uh, all the way through the game. And a terrific response to to a, a defeat last week. Yeah, it was a tough one for us last week. We. Um, we had a couple of players, Leicester, who played played really well. Um, we had three debutants playing, who I thought all all did did well, um, performed well. But we had a, we had a very uh, a bowling attack that was pretty similar, so the captain didn't have as many options as he had this week. So this week's attack had left arm seam, pace, um, accuracy, um, everything you'd you'd want really. So you know it was. It was Nothing against any individual last week, but I think our team was more balanced this week, um, and there were some strong performances, both bat and ball. In terms of today, Glenn, I guess that has gone just as well as you could have imagined it. You got to 300, you got your, your extra batting bonus point, and then the way that you ran through them there, that was that was just perfect for you. Yeah, didn't necessarily expect that. Um, I thought we played well. I thought Josh Josh Bohannon played really well yesterday on a reasonably tricky pitch. It, it, it demanded some thought. Durham's bowlers know how to bowl on that surface, um, and he, it was a tough innings. And he, you know, he, he showed great application. Um, disappointed for him that he didn't make a hundred, but at 75 on that pitch was, was a good score. Um, supported well by Woody in his debut. You know, making 40 odds, he looked great at the crease as well as good as anyone. Um, so we, that was a, a good total, and 128 lead was was sizable and should be enough, but. To bowl them out for less than that was a great effort. Um, obviously, Tom started it off brilliantly, just just right on the money. Um, and then I think everyone in the dressing room was really pleased for Hertie. Yeah, we'll, we'll touch on uh, Tom and Liam in, in a moment, but just on Josh at three, you, you mentioned that you the word he applied himself there, the application he showed. I spoke to him uh, last night and he, he, he was telling me how determined he was to, to, to adapt his game or to change his game perhaps a little bit so he can nail down three. Have you been impressed with the way he's he's responded to playing at three? Yeah, uh, it's a great opportunity for him, but it's a challenge. It's a real challenge. Batting three in county what? cricket nowadays is, is, is tough, um, but if he can do it, it's a great place to bat. So we see Josh as having the technique to be able to do it, but then it comes down to your, your ability to play on different surfaces against all different types of bowling. So... Um, delighted for him that he's got off to a good start. And on, on Luke, clearly strengthens your bowling attack, but clearly it strengthens your batting attack too. Yeah, well it was a perfect signing for us in terms of the type of cricketer he is. I think it was he was well known that he was an improving cricketer and a, a determined cricketer, but we we wanted a left arm seamer who could bat. Um, it fits all formats for us. Um, but yeah, he played fluently there, um, and he's, he's he's destructive without, you know, hits the ball hard, so he's going to score quickly. Uh, it was a great knock. Let's talk about two of your your bowlers. Let's start with, with Tom Bailey. You reached 200 first class wickets in this in this game. Um, he, he for the last couple of years now, I think, has, has bowled superbly for you, hasn't he? Yeah, he's consistent. Uh, he's clever now. He's he's, a, he's an experienced campaigner now, and he's leading our attack. And he's someone you know he's going to have a good day. I mean. Obviously, we don't have good days every day, but he's, you back him to perform, and he'll hold a unit together. Uh, he's got a great record now, and you know, hopefully, he'll go from strength to strength. The levels of consistency. How, how impressed have you been with that? He rarely bowls a, a bad spell. No, he's, he's like it's like Peter Martin was, if you like, tall, very accurate, great skills, um, works a batter out, and he's there all day long. So you know, uh, he's he's a he's a bowler that every team needs. I remember speaking to you years back when you were when you were playing, and you mentioned about if you can if you can bowl the right length in particular enough times, you're going to cause enough problems. Is he a great example of that? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I mean, he's got great control of the seam. You know, he can move the ball both ways, but you know, it just just his accuracy and his it's relentless really. So he gets bounced, so he's he, he's quicker than he actually is. So. You know, he's a real challenge to batters on all types of surfaces. Do you think he's responded well to being kind of the senior man of the of the attack as well? I think so. You can see him changing in his attitude to to his cricket. You know, understanding understanding how to get results um, as he as he goes. It's great to see people learn and develop. 
and for Liam, you mentioned the dressing room was really pleased with, with for him. Obviously, just his second game. Just talk to me a little bit about Liam and his strengths. Well, he's been working really hard for the, you know, for the last two or three years, uh, making a lot of improvements. And I think he, he'd had a bit of a setback through the time we'd spent off. Um, came back and didn't find his rhythm. So he was in great rhythm in India on a, uh, in February when we went out for a week there. And, it looked like an exciting season for him coming up, and then the time, time we've spent offset him back a bit. Um, he lost some of his games, so that's the reason he didn't play last week, was that he just didn't feel comfortable with his form. So he's worked really hard in the week leading up to this game, and he's been able to transfer his, his, the work that he's done in practice straight onto the field. So I was really impressed with his quality, um, and obviously delighted that he, he had a good spell today and took wickets and made a real difference in the game.